Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to install the latest Windows Server 2025 Preview Build 26063, and that will be installed on Windows 11 Hyper V. And we will also see the few new features Microsoft have applied to the new Server 2025. And mainly, this video will be more focused on the installation experience of Windows Server 2025. Also, I would like to tell you that you may face issues while creating a generation 2 machine for this server so it is better to create a generation 1 virtual machine so let's move to the server and get started with the installation experience of windows server 2025 so guys if you see the download i have downloaded this windows insider preview server 26063 iso inside the download folder let's go to the hyper v and let's create a new virtual machine I will name it as Windows Server 2025. I will store it to the location test. We'll click on next. And instead of generation 2, you have to select the generation 1. This is a known issue with this server that if you create a generation 2 machine, you may face a booting problem. So we are going to create a generation 1. We'll click on next. I will set the memory as 4096, that is 4 gigs click on next I will connect it with the switch click on next I'll provide the ISO image and we'll click on next and finish so now the virtual machine has been created let's try to connect it and I will click on start you can see it is booting the first window which appear is for the language so language and the time and currency format i will keep it as a default and here we have a new look so let's click on next and now it's asking for the keyboard let's click on next here it says if you are reinstalling it please note that file apps and setting will be deleted if i click this so we are not repairing it we are installing as a fresh so i can select this box and click on next now here it asks for the product key Guys, if you are a member of a Microsoft Insider program, you can get this key from there. It is available there for both data center edition and standard edition. So I'm putting the key for the data center edition and let's click on next. Here it has a both flavor like desktop experience or only the command prompt. So let's select the desktop experience and proceed further. And here we have an applicable notice and license term. We have to accept it. Now it says please wait searching for the disk. Here we have a new look for the disk selection. We only have a one disk so I will select this disk and will proceed further by clicking on next. Now it is ready to install Windows Server 2025 data center edition. Let me click on install. Now here it will look like this like installing Windows Server. It's a new way. Microsoft has introduced many new features on this server like Windows Server hot patching for everyone, the next generation Active Directory and SMB, mission critical data and storage, Hyper-V with artificial intelligence and much more. We will explore the new feature in our next video but in this video we will just see the installation experience with Windows Server 2025. It is rebooting now completed 42 percent it's rebooting again asking for the password let me put the password here let me click on finish this is the first look let me enlarge the screen let's try to sign in this is the first screen appears when you install server 2025 i will accept it here we have a try windows admin center with azure arc let me cancel this and let's go to the local server here you can see the Microsoft Server 2025 data center. If you compare it with Windows Server 2019, you can see we have a Azure Arc Management and Remote SSH Access that is disabled right now. But we have two new feature here with Windows Server 2025 that is Remote SSH and Azure Arc Management. So the installation of Windows Server 2025 has been done successfully. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.
and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.